Hello, I'm Ann Williams, and I lived at 457 Lahaina Luna Road. And I just, uh, I definitely encourage this uh, whole uh, fire to be investigated further, not only for just legislation, but just on a criminal level. I, I'll just tell you my story. Uh, I live right there, uh, about three blocks where the second, where the fires were going off. Uh, I immediately knew there was a fire because I would I'd been watching it personally um, but didn't even have time to get into the car and drive the, the uh, roads were already blocked my driveway I, I wouldn't have even been able to get out of my driveway if I wanted to my luckily my key actually broke when I tried to get in and so I had to run down but thank you God that was my saving grace if I was in my car listening to all the policemen that were out there I would have been dead like most of our my other friends and relatives um got down ran down to the Heine lunar road got down to the light luckily my i found my daughter down there in her truck so i did get into a vehicle at that point we're being blocked right there couldn't go anywhere um by a police officer but i i, I just, we just were one of the smarter people disobeyed the cops i just went down we had to go down front street in order to save ourselves i had a whole family in my car including the two-year-old there was no way i was going to sit there and listen to this cop telling us to stay put um went down front street total mess so many so many cars I mean, we're, we're looking at ten thousand people trying to get out right away all at the same time in the tiny little streets of Lahaina everybody being forced to front street not being able to drive on the highway because there were some power lines down in that immediate area we went through Safeway parking lot saw the power lines there so we ended up going out finally we did escape out the Fleming's chart house exit to go north we went north free sailing at that point after Fleming's got out there but they hadn't blockaded us yet I was one of the lucky few that got out that way no power lines whatsoever it was a safe exit all the way north and we got to Honokawai that way um, after me though they decided to block it and there was still no power lines down because I did come out the next morning and I saw the death trap. It was where there were no power lines still yet the following morning. Everybody could have gotten out. Everybody could have gotten out. It was free sailing going north. But the police officer there, quote unquote, from direct other residents who talked to him, were walking, saw all the cars stopped. He finally walked all the way up to the front at the exit, policemen standing there and the guy said to the policeman there's a fire the fire is coming you got to let these people go he's i've got orders we need to investigate that who is giving these cops orders i mean if the police officer might be taking orders it's not his fault personally but there's somebody above him that did this and they need to investigate that they put and then John said the, the far end of Front Street was blocked, bringing him in that way, and then blocked this way. It's obvious we were, we were intentionally trapped. And I hope that this gets investigated further. And I have the eyewitnesses have, who have spoken to that cop directly. Thank you.